<laughs> it's Mr. Ed today on another chilly late March 2024. And as you can see, we're under a raised building and good time, Charlie and I. Are I'm back again. Back at this man. He just can't, he can't get away from the abuse that I give him. So I'm thank, telling you. Thank you for doing that. So today we have got us a pretty interesting one. What we got going on today, Charlie? Oh, we have bees up in the ceiling like you wouldn't believe. Well, let's, let's, this is a raised house. So, so. let's let's make them believe in, in, in oh, show and show what the thermal camera That's looks right. like. Look at what this. Look how big this. Let, let me is. grab the camera. Now, Charlie's got that camera shining right on where the bees are coming out of where the hive is. So you see the piece of plywood. All right, now let, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and. Put the camera up, the thermal camera up there, and now start showing you the size of this hive. Look, look how long this hive is. It's every bit of four feet plus. We got bees running out on the other side of that plywood as well. So this is a really long beehive. Wow. So there is where the hive is, right here. And we are going to remove that entire sheet of plywood. Uh, it's small, it's quarter inch plywood, so it's just easier just for me to remove that whole sheet and expose the hive, by the grace of God. Uh, me and Charlie, we're gonna be here for a couple hours, but this is gonna be a massive hive and <laughs> a lot of bees in it. I'm interested to see the, the condition of how soon they are to be um, to, to swarm and getting ready to. In fact, just yesterday, I, I did a, a swarm removal yesterday on the other side of this house. And, Charlie, let's grab the camera and we'll show them that thing right now. This little spot right above this beam, I, I removed some bees yesterday and you can see there's still a small cluster of, of the bees up in there. And so before we leave, we'll vacuum those bees up as well. So by the grace of God, these girls right here, I'm gonna vacuum up and they're headed up to the Abbey with me. Now we're gonna go ahead and frame it up because it is cool. Right now it's 52 degrees, uh, it's cool. So we're gonna go ahead and set the bees up uh, on frames, frame all that, the comb up as we're taking it down and keep the, the bees on the brood. All right, Charlie, you ready to wrangle? <laughs> what are you doing with that? I'm ready to take something apart. <laughs> Let's do it, Charlie. <laughs> All right, I think the firecrackers are going to get ready to happen. Um, and I, as cool as it is, I think these bees are going to be flying mad. So we'll just find out how things work out. What do you think? I think that's a lot of bees up in there. <laughs> Let me get a knife and cut that stuff and you can see it better. There is the entire comb and hive right there. Let me get close up. Up on the ladder. That is a very impressive hive. It goes back about four inches beyond where that edge of that plywood is. So that's not bad. But you got four feet of bees on comb. Oh my gosh. Let's start. I'm gonna begin vacuuming at, at this end of the hive because I don't want the bees to run this way. So I'm gonna to try to push the bees this way and then as we push the bees, then I'll be able to remove comb in here and eventually just whittle it on down. Well, here we go. Okay. 
what I'm going to do, because I can't reach that comb in there, I'm going to cut the comb like at about this part right here mm -hmm. and about right here, because this part I can reach. Mm -hmm. I'll remove this stuff and then I'll be able to reach back up inside of there and start cutting that, because I'm just trying to prevent the bees from going in this direction. So I'm going to vacuum off a little bit more bees and I'm going to start cutting this. And I know this is honey in here and I'll probably get, get a honey shower, it's going to be nasty, but that's just part of wrangling. So here is the typical picture of your bee wrangler in their full glory. <laughs> Gee whiz, this is so messy. And I had to cut a little bit more of that ceiling because I, I couldn't even get to the comb. And even if I got to that comb, I still wouldn't be able to access the rest of it. I don't have enough space. So I needed that space to be able to get my knife or tool up there to work it. So let me finish cutting that out, I'm getting a little bit more dirty. And, and after that, I think I will clean up a little bit before I start going on. <laughs> I think you need to be hosed off myself. <laughs> Me too. God. That is gorgeous piece. Pull it down. Wow.
As you can see, I've removed all of the honey in this area right here. And so now I'm proceeding to move over hopefully what's going to be our brood. Now the problem, the problem that I've got is uh, I don't have my long knife with me. <laughs> and uh, so I can't really reach above here to cut except for as long as this knife is. And so I'm not going to be able to take off big sections. Uh, I'm going to vacuum bees off of the bottom right here and just start cutting some of this comb. And I know we're going to be running into brood. And it, it, it may very well be that, that uh, I can't keep the bees on the brood, but we're going to find out what the situation is in a few minutes. What you got in your hand there, Jeff? Well, Charlie is improvising, <laughs> so we're going to be shoving his machete up in there and cutting some of that cone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a nice piece. My bad. <laughs> nice. So we're running out of space in our ice chest, so we're going to go ahead and frame up some of these frames that we got out of there so we can make more space. And these, these things are going to frame up pretty nice in our frames. Very little. There you go. We got one of them, first one. All right, we got a second one in here. Thank you. 
There she is, right here, Charlie. Yep. You got your key? You got your cage? Yeah. Look how big she is, Charlie. Yep, she's big. Here you go. Get her before she turns. Charlie, look at that. She's in the cage. She's in the cage. Woo -wee. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, we Charlie. Life will be much easier now. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this uh, girl taken care of and get this framed up. You got a quart of honey there.
That's for the homeowner. from the back, he's dripping it all over the back. Well, they made some deep cells. That is awesome. I mean, there's nothing but drones on this comb. Now I'm just going to shake them off and let them all fly back. There's just so many drones out here. This, it's, re, it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't want all these drone cells in this box right here. I got good brood right here as well as some pollen. So I'm changing this, this cell out, this frame out. Get some good brood, a good frame of food on here and get rid of these drones. All right, now that, in my opinion, is a way better frame to put inside of this box. If you take a look up there, Charlie. Oh, let's see what we've got. The comb ain't there no more, but we still got a lot of bees, a lot of bees. So, since I didn't vacuum up those bees tonight, uh, today, I'm gonna uh, come back tomorrow morning when it's still cool. It'll be, it, when I get here, it should be about, it, it won't even be 50 degrees. All these bees will be clustered up down at that end. I'm gonna vacuum up these bees as well as those bees tomorrow morning. And then this will be a done deal. Charlie, let's wrap this video up. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. These bees are fan telling everybody, come on over. Yeah, what happened, Jeff? We had a leak right here? No leak, just the queen bee. Looked like the queen was calling them all over here. She was. Charlie, there ain't no fix in my hair this time. There's, I know. There's so much honey in that stuff. Oh, you are so <laughs> sticky. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm glad this one is over. It was bad. It really was. His suit is so bad. Just 
I, the first thing I thought about was back when I was in Vietnam, when my flight suit got that bad, I didn't even wash it. We just burned them. <laughs> I'm going to wash that. That thing is very valuable. Oh. <laughs> it's valuable. It's valuable. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. So what are your thoughts about what we did? Uh, my thoughts, it, um, it went fairly well. What was the highlight? The highlight was catching the queen oh, man, on, a, on a piece of comb. Well, y'all are going to see it. But, I mean, that was amazing because there were so many bees on there. And he had flipped it over, was looking on the other side, didn't find anything, and flipped it back. And I was just getting ready to stop video, and, and there she was. Yep, that's right. You know? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right. right. Well, Charlie. What was it, six hours? Oh, yeah. Seven hours? It's 2.30 right now. We got here at 9 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so it, that's, a, that's a long day. Long and I still got to come back tomorrow and, and finish vacuuming up those other bees. Fortunately, this is only about... Probably about 15 miles from my house. It's not that far, so that's not a long ride. Not too bad. All right, let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. It's Mr. Ed and Good Time Charlie. Good buddy. Good Time Charlie. <laughs> We're out until the next video. God bless everybody. Bye bye.